YouTube, this is G-Tech here with another video. Today I'm showing you how to get the new Google Pixel Launcher on your Android device. Now this launcher is going to come out with the new Google Pixel phones coming out later this year. So let's get to it right away. So the first thing you want to do is go ahead and download the APKs from the links that I put on the description. Now I'm going to fast forward this video until I get to the point where we could start setting this up. All right, now that I have downloaded both APKs, I want to click on the first one here, which is the Google Pixel launcher itself. Let me get through the process here, and you want to do the same exact thing that I'm doing. Once you're done, click on done. Now you want to install the APK for the wallpaper picker. And again, we're going to go through the same process that we went through for the Google Pixel launcher. Now that you have both APKs installed, you want to click on the home button and then you want to click on Pixel Launcher. Now, because you install a brand new launcher, when you click on the home button, the question of what launcher you want to use is going to come up. So now, after selecting Google Pixel, you're going to get a similar home screen like you want to have here on the video. Let's see, this is a wallpaper picker. Uh, this is what we use the APK for. You know, this is a different layout than what and how it used to be. As you can see here, it's, it's sort of a nice layout for picking wallpapers. So let's go back. Also, you will notice that the dock doesn't really have a app drawer icon. Now, all you have to do is slide this up arrow that you see. It's like you could take that, you could actually click it, or you could sort of drag it up and it's going to bring the app drawer up. Also different are the widgets. As you can see here, they have sort of a blue highlight to it. It used to be different. I remember it used to be just all dark, all black, no highlights at all. This front widget that you see here, the clock and the G, that's actually integrated into the launcher, so you won't really be able to get rid of it. But I personally think it is useful because when you're trying to search something, all you have to do is just click or you could also long press on the home screen button to get to Google now right away. One more thing I want to show you guys is the folder layout here. So let me look for an app, Santa, let me put it into maps. As you can see here, you get a circle instead of a uh, square or all the different type of designs that we had before. This is totally different. Now, I personally don't think it's that creative for Google to do this, but I mean, I think it looks fine. It's just something different for me at this point. So this is pretty much it guys. You could go ahead and customize the hell out of this. I'll catch you in the next video. For those that are watching my videos for the first time, make sure you subscribe because next week I'm doing a giveaway of these headphones that you're seeing right now. I'll be going through my list of subscribers and picking one lucky winner. Now if you haven't seen this video, I'm going to put the link down below in the description. So make sure you go ahead and subscribe as well.